Hey everyone, Super Justice Ford, Kurt. Um, let's uh, get started on part four, Islands, of the Map Editor series. Uh, this one, we're going to be leading directly off of creating a new map template. So this one is assuming that you already have the bare bones needed, and we can get started right here. All right, so one of the first things, it's a great resource. On the wiki, there is a page that has a lot of information regarding uh, islands and what's on them. And when you look at the individual uh, cells, you can see what islands are on it. I wish it was a better list, but this should be able to give you guys a, uh, a pretty good idea of what spawns where. Um, <clears throat> very large, inclusive list. So really good resource. Um, a, uh, another great thing is going to be uh, getting into the uh, exclamation marks maps and with that it will give you my Dropbox that I have set up with uh, overrides and stuff like that. So I'll just give you a quick uh, walkthrough on that one. So I have batch files for updating your server, uh, starting everything, um, a list of the free ports and different uh, NPC traders, the ghost ship, and it's come, and it's a blueprint path, uh, a raft with a blueprint path. Um, let's see, we also have uh, different ocean harvest overrides and sound overrides, and uh, same with the other override one. Uh, this one gives you, for the island instances, uh, you can disable all different things per island. Uh, let's see, what's another good one? Um, the Power Stone ones is every single Power Stone entry from the official map just pulled out and put into uh, its own little text file. Um, if uh, you want to use any of this stuff, feel free. Um, if uh, you want to write tutorials or anything like that, uh, using anything as an example, uh, all I ask is that you credit, um, credit who you see in the... Uh, the area down at the bottom of the comment. All right, so let's get started. Um, usually you're going to see the islands that are uh, spawn islands in uh, that list. That's, that's normally how I pull them all up. Um, and when we are looking for the lawless, to the best of my knowledge, you can use any island as a lawless island as long as you have it set to be spawnable, okay? Um, islands with uh, PVE at the very end of them are Power Stone Islands, um, like this one right here. This is a PVE island, so this is going to have a Power Stone on it. Um, to bring the islands onto the map, all you're going to do is just click, hold, and drag. So you're holding that left-click button down, all right? To manipulate the island, you can change the specific instance of that island, the spawn point region, uh, your NPC level, <clears throat> and the difficulties and everything, uh, as well as the treasure quality. All right, uh, This is where you would do your instance overrides in that document that we were just, that I just had up. Um, is it? Let's get so much good information and uh, over time. It's just like, oh, it's such a pain. All right, so um, we can disable a lot of stuff via the um, via the uh, segments, but some things you have to disable specifically for the island or enable specifically for the island. So if we want to enable Power Stone Index for that specific island, we would go to our Power Stone, Power Stone's text, and we would grab out the specific Island instance, custom data, okay. So we can see that right here on these two lines. Now, this is what you would have to do for your uh, PVE islands if you want them to actually have power stones. All right, so let's minimize out all of this. Um, to rotate your islands, you're gonna hold right click and just move your mouse. Okay, you can go and have pretty much as many islands as you want 
and a map as long as they are not within render distance of each other. If you have them within render distance of each other, uh, you're going to get huge frame drops and some major performance issues. Now, please note that the more islands are in a specific segment, uh, the more memory load you're going to see on that segment. Okay, uh, I've seen servers with as little as, though I think, 900 megabytes uh, of memory usage for that segment instance. Um, and all the way up to seven gigs. <laughs> so it all depends on how much is actually in that one segment. Um, so we just drag some islands out. You're gonna notice some of them look image-wise exactly the same. And the difference is these last two, all right? Um, depending on how the naming scheme is, let me see if I can find that really quick and I'll bring it onto screen. Um, someone was really really awesome and they put up a page that contains oh yep yeah, here we go all right so this is also on the official wiki all right so let's just bring this over here and show you all so <clears throat> it's a quick walk through tells you how everything is laid out and let's see here we go. So this is the explanation of the climate codes and stuff like that. So that's also an excellent resource. So if we look at this, ER, ER is East Tropical, ET is Eastern Temperate. All right. Islands have their own individual biome overrides. Okay. Um, and, and so that's, you know, you can edit that by coming over here. You select your island, and then you hit Edit Island. And this is where you would change your... Uh, your actual template for the island individual override. Uh, let's see what else we got. So to, as we covered in the last video, to set a spawn point, we're going to hold left control and left click, and we would increment by one, uh, starting at zero, the spawn point region override. Uh, you can add custom spawners right here. And so if we wanted trikes <laughs> to spawn on this island, provided it's built correctly, which I think it might be vanilla, uh, you would just add that entry in. Uh, to delete, all you do is make sure that you have your little arrow right there and then press the delete key. And of course, save after every time. Uh, let's see, what else would we get? Okay, let's do that. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for the moment. Um, there are some things that are additional with the Power Stone Islands. We'll get that into later on its own separate part altogether. All right. Thanks for watching this quick little short bit. And uh, if it helped you out, like and subscribe. Thumbs up.